Hi guys. Someone there? Tell me if this sound is right. Send me a heads up there. So here we have our Bitcoin chart. Hmm. Why fun? What a beast we have here, huh? Donation, the jar is everything set. It's here. I'm testing a new, some new things here, huh? So. It's a lot of, uh, for some reason. Okay, so here what I have is this um, bullish count. Okay, I'm gonna start with this bullish count just because I. Hmm, this is really simple, yeah, to, to understand and to and to chart. Okay, it's a simple one, two, three, four, five. Motive impulse wave down, okay. One, two, three, four, five. It's a clear motive impulse wave down, okay. Clear, and then we have the reaction here now, okay. Um, here we would have a one, two, three, four, five, okay, and we would need to break this resistance here, okay. That is where we finish the wave one. Let me just what is the, the sound? Is it, let me put this. Okay. The sound is too much. So, if we are to consider a, a bullish count, this would be uh, really difficult to consider. Let me tell you that. Because we have this wave A here. Let me zoom in a little bit. I, th I do think I have a... Uh, let me just. I do think that I have this chart. This is a four hour chart, okay? Four hour chart. We are down here below the, the 30 RSI. Hmm. Perhaps we have a reaction, but, but perhaps. I, I'm not sure. We have finished this wave A, right? If we count here. You have on my Twitter account. Uh, let me let me see here. This is my Twitter account. Binance. Let me show you guys that I have presented there a different scenario. Eh? Not a different scenario. I have a, a really nice chart there for you guys. I don't think we have finished this yet. Huh? If you if you are to count this as a bull. One, two, three, four, five, hmm. which would really make it difficult to make an ABC here, okay, to complete a, a correction here of this motive impulse wave here. That is not clear an impulse, a motive impulse wave here, okay, it's not clear. And then we would need to have this truncated C, which is not uncommon for Bitcoin, okay. Uh, which is not uncommon, and we have broken this channel here. Hi, Muffy. Okay, which is not uncommon for Bitcoin to have this truncated C. Okay, but as I said, we have broken this channel here. Huh. So, kind of a uh, difficult to have a bullish count now, right? Yes, it is. Um, let me see, but I have a, let me see the EMA here, we are really, yes, it's, we have everything crossing here, the 55, the 100, the 200 EMA acting as a resistance, see, we have touched the 200 EMA and react down, putting this motive impulse 
wave down here okay which is which I do believe that's not finished yet so this ABC here is, is I think I am forcing this count it's not my primary count I'm just presenting a bow count okay which my <laughs> Waves, wave 2, according to Elliot, the Elliot Waves principle, Wave 2 can go as low as 88, 70, as low as really almost invalidating this this 100%, okay? Almost. It can't touch it here, like 80, 80, 70, okay? We might have something like this. But as I said, we have broken this channel here, okay? We have, and we are now yet to see what's going on, right? If it is, if you are a bull and you are counting on this, <clears throat> on this touching here and not breaking this lowest low of the year, this is the, the kind of scenario that you must look for, right? But I got to say the 200 EMA here is acting as a really strong resistance together with this this zone here of the 6800 okay got to watch this and if i am a if you are a day trader i wouldn't enter along here not at all i i, I wouldn't recommend along here unless if we touch like if you start laddering it okay here like below this region here okay because the RSI is really that low and we have a div divergence here, you see? We have, this is a four hour chart. We have uh, the RSI ticking. No, no, actually we don't have a divergence. We don't. Yes, we have a, a lower low here, lower low here. We don't have a, a divergence. I do think we have a divergence in one hour though. Yes, we have a divergence here, one hour chart, okay? But not four hour though. We have a, a RSI bullish divergence here, see? A lower low here, a lower low, but the RSI is showing a divergence. You have this here, okay? As not, a, not a really strong divergence, okay? Let me take this out here. Just what I said. Okay, this is my bullish count. On the other hand, if we look at my chart, this is EOS, this is my Twitter handle. Okay, this is our Bitcoin chart. This is my bearish count. Okay, let's take a look at this. This is, I have my head and shoulder. Let's see where is it here. Is there it is, okay? Uh, let me show this one hour chart first. So, the same thing, we have finished this uh, one, two, three, four, five impulse, motive impulse wave down here, finished here. And we have put a leading expanding diagonal, ABC, 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 three, four, five. It, which is not okay uh, a common pattern as you can see here this is the the Elliott wave principle book is this pattern here that i'm using i'm sorry is this possible expanding not not one not just this, uh, this is the pattern that i'm using the leaning diagonal that's composed of three 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 and three okay this pattern here that is an a okay which would lead to a b and a c this is the pattern that i'm using okay in this case here, one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, four, and A, B, C, four here, A, B, C, fifth, not touching the 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 the, the upper line of the the wedge, breaking down and putting this motive wave impulse down here to finish our A, which I don't think it's. It has finished, not yet. It, uh, we might put another wave down here. Okay, we are in the fifth wave, but we haven't finished it yet. Perhaps a truncated fifth, and we have uh, uh, a leading diag. 
but down here. Yeah? A motive leading diag. Uh, I don't see a leading diag because the fourth wave is not. Yes, it's not possible. It's a common impulse, motive impulse wave down. Fifth wave, okay, here. We need to finish it yet. Okay? And now it's almost the same thing as we have for the bullish count. This, the B, would need to retrace now. We need to. I'm looking to this region here because this is the 6100 region, 6000 6, region, okay? Uh, as I have said yesterday, this upper line here in the other side would act as a strong resistance. So we bounced here, we, we touched it and then we went down again. This, I, sh I draw this thing here, this line here yesterday, okay? so. Then, for today, I think we are going to start seeing some movement up, okay? Perhaps, or if we are really in a bearish market and this count is even, if, if, if it's even bearish, then I presume this would mean a really deep B, okay? A deep B and then a really breaking this, the lowest low of the year, okay? It, it is possible, then we will have an A, B, C, an expanding triangle like this, okay? A, B, C, D, E. This would be a nasty bearish count, okay? Bearish like hell. A, expanding leading diagonal, okay? B, breaking down here. C, D, E. And then going down to finish the triple combo, uh, I think I have here, okay? We would have something like this. It's, this is the zooming. This is the count when I let, I'm taking the amount of time here in, into consideration. So this is my count when we, we, t we, we look at the overall picture, okay? I'm going to explain it in a while, but let's go back a little bit here, yes. This might be in play, okay? I have, I have to say, if B goes really down here, but first of all, we need to finish this A here. Bullish than the other one. This chart looks for me more bullish than the other one. No, it, it's not. Of course not. Because, uh, Murphy, uh, this A here, it's a uh, expanded leading diagonal in a wave A, okay? According to Elliott wave, Waves principle, which I shown, which I have shown in the here in the book, uh, this is a, a a corrective pattern. Okay, we have the trend here. This is the trend, and we are correcting. This can be bullish. The way I count it, it it can be bullish. Okay, it it can be bullish if we count this as a one, two, three, four, five, and then we have finish here. But we would not, I am presenting here just as an example of a bullish count, okay? But this is, an, this is a correction, A, B, C, this is a corrective pattern, okay? We will need to finish this A, put our A, B here, and finish our C, which can be truncated, not really uh, going below the, the wave A, or it can go below the wave A, which is common with uh, putting a ending diagonal here, and then we would go up to finish this wave C. This would be our B, okay? This would be our B here, okay? All we are doing now, it's, is we are in this B here, according to my count, okay? According to my count, what we are doing now is we are finishing this A, B, C, this is our B here, okay? This is our B. This is our B of the highest degree of the daily chart. This is our B here. To put down this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to finish this Z wave. Actually, the Z wave is, is also composed of a three waves pattern, okay? So we might have a flat here like this okay and then we would have a why i why i am labeling label it as a fourth wave let me let me put a higher degree here it's this is a minor okay 
fourth wave here because fourth waves the the personality of a fourth wave is a it's a triangle okay it can be flat it's a wave two wouldn't be wouldn't be a triangle okay waves have personality wave four is a triangle normally it takes more time it's the the last movement of a of a motive impulse wave up so we wouldn't have finished the one two three four five of bitcoin not yet remember it's a really really uh, <clears throat> uh it, this is a really young asset so this is this is common right we would take a lot of time to finish our first impulse wave to then put our wave down so after this whole correction we need to we would have an impulse wave up but we don't necessarily need to challenge this wave this wave three that's what is really that's what we really need to take into account when we are investing okay now if if you apply a technique if you apply a principle like i am doing with elliot wave this is our elliot waves principle uh wave five well which is the next wave here don't need to challenge the wave three it might be a truncated wave it might be a truncated wave five which is not gonna challenge the the price of wave three okay that's the principle okay it and it's, it and it works for a lot of assets out there in stock in stocks market in stock markets okay this is my 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 overall picture of the thing yeah we need to have a fifth wave it's somewhere where my fifth wave is somewhere here i found it here perhaps next year we have a bullish market or or i might be wrong okay yes we need to put uh ip mid uta why i think why i think we have finished the b wave of the abc correction let's see here let's open okay let me see this is the uh a b c d e uh Muff, muffy uh this this a b c d e pattern let me explain you one thing i don't know if you are aware of it a b c a b c d e patterns are triangle shape it can i don't see it as a triangle it's an impulse wave it's a motive impulse wave this is not an a b c d e this can be is a one two three four five is a motive wave okay i can show you in the book but i need to find the exactly where is it in the book but it, it can be a b c d e is a triangle pattern okay it's a corrective pattern first of all it's a corrective pattern and it, it can be a a, a, a motive this is a, this is characteristic right waves have personality this is one two three four five this is a, a motive impulse wave not a corrective wave of this of course this is a this is part of the corrective wave of this wave here okay which i call the leading diagonal expanded leading diagonal like we have here in the book okay one two three 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 fifth wave a then we are going down okay we can have the opposite as well okay um it's not an a b c d e yo what's up <laughs> yes korean toxic korean <laughs> hi there glad to have you here so as i have as i was showing you guys um um this is what i think for bitcoin okay this uh we we'll need we will need to finish this b here but to, in order to finish this b here we need to put the b and the c okay and uh, what what you are talking about uh muffy triangle shapes can happen in a b wave okay but not this format here okay a b c d e it's not this format it's a triangle what we have here it's not a triangle but a motive impulse wave down okay this is the wave this is the, the principle it's not it's not me saying it's half elliot <laughs> okay 
Um, and then we have to put, I think we have one more wave down or we have finished. Why do I think we have one more wave down? I, I don't see this, this reaction here strong enough to start going up and looking for a B here. Okay. Uh, I have presented a bullish count at the beginning of the... All I want to show is that we have perfect extension to do to A16, O618 replacement target. So you mean I have to label then just one, two, three, four, five? Yes, according to the principle, yes. Uh, this is a motive impulse wave, okay? It, it's not a triangle shape. You can say A, B, C, D, E here. It's not allowed. This, if you are within the principle, this is a one, two, three, four, five. It's not a, a triangle shaped like this. This is an this is the this is an expanded triangle, A B C D E, okay. We can have the opposite like this. We can we normally have the opposite, which is this, which is this. This is an A B C D E. A, B, C, D, E. And according to the principle of Elliott wave, when the E finishes the, here, we go down, okay? And we can have the same thing, the opposite. Yes, this is an expanded flat correction. This is a triangle, ex, this is a triangle uh, flat correction, A, B, C, D, E, okay? We can have both. Okay, this is an A B C D. You can't label like this A B C D E because this is not. This is a uh, the personality of this wave movement here is a motive impulse wave down, which is which I can label at the end of it A. Okay, because it's a correction of this movement here, and it it is inside. It is inside of a major of a higher degree. A, B, C of a major degree B, okay? This is a higher degree, sorry, B, which is going to lead to this C here, okay? So this B here and this C here, okay? This is part of the correction of B. We are correcting this expanded leading diagonal, okay, here, A. A, B, C, B. We have, we have to finish this B, and then we are going up to finish this C of, of a higher degree B. As I've shown here, this is my whole picture. Okay, this is our A. We are finishing this B, just like I said here, B. And we are going down A, B, C to finish this Z here, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. This is a one, two, three, four, five Z. I, I, we don't need to have an A, B, C here. We, we need to have one, two, three, four, five here. An ending diagonal, right? Perhaps an ending diagonal, perhaps we have a truncated fifth. We don't challenge this, this A here. Perhaps, okay? Uh, we think we will go up to B. I just just label then one, two, three, four, five. My TA, my TA is still valid. If you label it, it's okay. I, I get what you're saying. If you say one, two, three, four, five here, and you are f you, you have finished this, this is an A, okay? You have finished here the first wave of a corrective wave, okay? Uh, it can be in this case, let me see here. Um, you are saying that you have finished this, this first wave A here, okay? This motive impulse wave down. You say, we have finished it, we are going up for our B, okay? Could be, I think we have one more leg down, okay? And then we will need to, I don't know. We are in a really difficult region here because this is a tough region to break, right? It's a strong support, really strong support, this region here. If we go down, bear in mind that it's gonna be a week, in my opinion. It's gonna be a weak, a, a strong reaction. Then we are gonna put, um, then we are gonna go up uh, to to correct this this motive impulse here, our our wave B. 
and the enemy wouldn't have a wave C. Okay? This is the, the, the waves principle, Elliot's wave, waves principle. We, if we count this as a, this is, um, this is a bullish scenario, okay, guys? If we, if you want to be bold and think about it as an ABC, true wave, the second wave here and then going up, the wave three would be like 6 to 180 here and then the fifth would be like, the fourth would be like in this support here, I think. Previous support now it previous resistance sorry is acting it's go, it will it would act as a support it would be uh, I don't know uh, not not challenge the not going down to the region of wave one so and then the fifth wave here this is bullish okay but I, I don't think we have this I don't think we are finished yet okay it's almost the same count if you if you look at this and you look at this, you are gonna see a lot of similarities. Of course, it's the, the waves have similarities. I have a wave A here, the same way I have a an A wave here, but the way I'm counting the rest of the the movement is different. I'm counting this as a bearish B here instead of a, a instead of a wave five and then going down. What's the difference? What's gonna happen here? If we, we are going to have an ABC and then we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, we are going to have almost the same thing. Okay, what's going to decide? Here, here is going to differ. Okay, and that's what's the beauty about the market. The market is, is, is always trying to confuse you. Okay, you're going to have this. Okay, and you're going to have this, this movement here up. We need to, we need to challenge this resistance here again. Okay, we need to. What's gonna change is whether or not we're gonna break, we are challenge this resistance here and then go down again. Then we would have this bearish scenario. Or if we go up to this wave three and then we break this resistance and then we go down here, act as a support, and then we go up and challenge the wave three and go like to 8K. By the way, do you ever heard of an of an hyperwave yes i know a hyperwave those things are related to different cycles okay it's it's the way that we label when we use the waves principle you go here and they'll have the degree you have a grand super cycle super millennium super millennium intermediate cycle why i don't use it i use uh, only minor i'm using only minor for this whole movement here because Bitcoin is a young asset, okay? We don't have uh, so uh, we don't have a lot of time into this uh, trading this asset to use intermediate, primary cycle, super cycle, grand super cycle, super millennium. We don't have so much time ahead. We we we, 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 we this this asset this active hasn't been long hasn't been here for a long of time to have this amount of data that's why i'm using only minor this is the the overall picture of bitcoin okay i'm using here the minor cycle instead of uh, intermediate primary okay uh what do you think do you think we are going up to be yes we are going up to be after we finish i would I would say that this is not a bad place to start laddering some longs. Okay, this region here, okay guys? 61, 22 to 6,000, okay? If you wanna ladder some, some uh, longs here, it's not a bad trade, okay? Not a bad setup at all, okay? Something like this. Let me show you guys what I am going to do. Um, this, the B wave, right? Short term. But I, I stop loss like here. Okay. Uh, no, it's not a good trade, man. If you, the wave B is not going to go that high it's not a good trade i wouldn't enter now 
I wouldn't go against the trend, you know. This is a corrective. This is not a good place to enter. If you are, if you wanna enter here, I am putting a really, really, uh, really, low, uh, really extended uh, stop loss. Six thousand. Uh, no, I wouldn't enter now. Okay, I am out. Uh, uh, here, okay. When we see some movements here, okay, guys. Uh, when we see this reaction here. Okay, let, 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 let's see here. When we see this reaction here, and then a reaction down again, what I would what what I would do is I would start laddering here. After after this reaction here, after this correct correction here, okay? This is an imp motive impulse wave, would correct to B, and then it would go, would, would we would go down again. Perhaps having a truncated C. So I would start laddering at that moment. Why? Because C can be truncated, C can be longer than A, okay? So then I would start laddering here. All this, all this thing here. I will start, start 6100 to 6059 perhaps. Then we would put our wave B, this would be a good trade. Why? Because then we would have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave C. Okay, this would be a, a good trade. Like this, okay? This would be a nice trade because I would enter here and I would invalidate my my count with my stop loss lower than the, the lowest low of the year. Like, okay, this is the way I play, okay? I would ladder, I would ladder my, my buys here. So perhaps my buy would be here. Perhaps my buy would be lower, okay? And I would aim to the end of wave C here, okay? Perhaps this this algo target here, minus 3360. I would put it here and it would be a 465 risk reward. Ah, okay, Hyper, where are you from? Curious. I am from Brazil. I am currently living in in U, in USA. What about you? Um, the hyperwave theory says that we are currently in wave seven, heading to one k. Damn! I, I don't know. I know cycle the cycles theory. One hmm, k. This is I don't know I, I'm sorry I I don't know this theory then I I thought that you were Holland oh cool uh, grüß dich uh, grüß dich right now I I know a little bit of German but it's not the same in Holland <laughs> uh, it's similar the language right wie geht's dir wie geht's dir Korean <laughs> Um, so, um, that's my setup when we finish this, if we go as I am labeling here, okay? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's fun. Uh, guys, do you have questions? I am wrapping it up here. I'm, I think um, it's enough. We haven't moved that much. I'm gonna research about this hyperwave theory, Murphy. Okay. By the way, I'm gonna research and then I'm, I'm gonna give my opinion about it. But for now, I don't know. I I don't use this this theory. I I am applying the Elliott waves principle here. Okay.
So guys, uh, thanks for watching. Okay, I think that's. A, I think that was really cool. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on social media. I'll, uh, and if you haven't yet followed me here on Twitch TV, please consider doing so. Uh, thanks for watching. And like and subscribe me on YouTube. Okay, that's really fun that we are together here trying to make sense of this mess that we call Bitcoin. Nice. Thank you very much. We see each other tomorrow. If I, if I, if I don't do a live stream, I'm going to do anyway a Bitcoin update, okay? And post on my YouTube. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you guys. Cheers.